wounded and tired, Ciri collapsed in the swamp. Some peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Velen's self-appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nurse back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad. And here we go. Hello there, thanks for joining me. I am AV Storyteller and this is my Let's Play The Witcher Wild Hunt. Welcome back. Okay, let's jump back into the action here. We are on our way to Novigrad to visit Trish. Hopefully she can give us some leads as to the whereabouts of Siri. Let's check out the map and the mission here. Main quest, Pyres of Novigrad. Visit Trish in her house. We are, just so you know, there. Uh, just crossed over from the Nilfgaardian border there. We're now amidst Redanian troops. We need to make our way overland to Novigrad. This is Velen Nomanland to Novigrad to visit Triss. And I'm really looking forward to seeing her again. Let's go back to that mission. Just fill in the blanks. Uh, final paragraph. Finding Siri here would be like searching for a needle in a burning haystack. Geralt would clearly need some assistance. Luckily, an old acquaintance of his now lived in Novigrad. Her name was Triss Merigold. So we're going to go overland, pop into this village, maybe check out a few of these undiscovered locations, fill in some of the blanks, find out what's going on here, then we cross the bridges into Novigrad itself. We have done a lot, we have done a lot and yet we have barely scratched the surface. And then one thing I noticed was this floating water hag <laughs> over there. Not entirely sure what she's up to. Let's see if we can put a, a bolt in her, shall we? That would be nice. Nope. It's like firing very short range marshmallows, that is. Redania. So. Let's head towards my marker. Which is where the next village is. Yeah, I bet that's cold and horrible and not very pleasant. Where is my horse? Get a sword out, any sword. Oh, we're here already. Nice sleep. Why the devil are you bothering me? You feel like shagging. You don't lift a finger around the yard. It's not pleasing some people. What do you want? Life's a bitch. Mm. Sleepy. Okay, didn't seem to be much happening there. New marker, Eston. Just make sure that everything is recording properly. It is. Geralt shall jump for joy. Oh boy, oh boy! If he was a girl, would he have said, oh girl, oh girl, do you think? Oh boy, oh boy! Leave me be! Show me your sword! No one's about. What the? That made me stand up straight and take take notice. Huh. Want justice? Hire a witcher. It's not the worst idea in the world to uh, follow a group of Redanian soldiers if they're heading in the direction that I am. In case any high level monsters appear. Suggested 29. I've seen that I had a lot of problems with the other one being level 18. I don't think I'll bother. Shopkeeper. Shopkeeper, shopkeeper, yep. Yeah. What? I need to go back to a, a smithy and uh, create that sword. I forgot all about it. 
Show me what you have in stock. That I have the diagram for. Uh, sells those pants, might as well. Not much to write home about there. Farewell. <laughs> so long. Uh, nope. Not what I was after. Oh, what's going on there? Try that again. Crafting. There was a sword. Was it that one? Mm -hmm. I could craft that as well. The griffin trousers look slightly better as well. I think it was this uh, griffin steel sword. I'll just buy the ingots from the uh, armorer, from the weaponsmith. Yeah, because it's massively more damaging than what I've currently got uh, equipped. Let's just check the wear and tear. 91%, 98, that's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, we're fine. We seem to be fine. Might as well get that down my neck, actually. That man just punched some fresh air. Quick! Bagula. Call Bagula. the guards! Well, Jesus. Why can't I get my HUD up to tell me what my shortcut keys are? How hard can it be? I would very much like to drink that. Sigh. And that one increases vitality. Which is for killed. Right. Yes, my hood still hasn't come up. Where's my map? Oh, have I accidentally turned off my complete HUD? Let me just check my key bindings. I'm just checking if there's turn off HUD key that I might hit by accident. Sure, hide HUD. Oh, yeah, that's what I've done. There you go. Let's go there. Come on, Roach. A lovely day for a ride. Six forty seven PM. Sun setting. Approaching it now. Slower. Always like visiting Novigrad. A man truly feels alive here. Yes, especially nice in wartime when someone has been stripped of that feeling, deprived of life. Hello. We'll never arrive here. Novigrad's rulers are too prudent to allow it. Might be wise to set. Interesting outfit. We should look into real estate. What was it happened to fault? Is there a slow walking competition going on that I don't know about?
cows give sour milk. My cat Not sleeps with the rats. My pigs squeal the night through. You know what that means. You're a shite farmer. What? No, mate. War's coming. That's what it means. Where are you rushing to? Is that an armor? Me down under. Guess not. Where's that grind wheel? There's a lot of dwarfs around. Cleaver's hench dwarf. Ah, that must mean that Cleaver is maybe a crime boss, maybe. Cozy. Come on, Roach. Have you wandered off to talk with a friend? Mister, why are your eyes so strange? Oh, like a ghost. That's it, Roach. Mm. Red sky at night. Blood has been spilt this day. I serve the eternal fire. Careful, you scamp. This is no regret. Not your back arse village. Hey, three boys. What do I gotta do to get a lovely cool not like to yours? Poop. That is the Move it! Wandering the streets, eh? Whoa there, Roach. I, I must go to the wind. A job. Whoa! The boys in it, no doubt. Oh, she's Elven. Seen any prime fillies? I hit not having first person in this game. <laughs> Trying to like, yeah, checking out the what ears. What do we do with her, ready? Temple God ought to get her to my mind. Please. Blood you know came out of me. ears. Fine. Go. But let this be the last time I see you here, you elf bitch. <gasps> Interesting. My dad doesn't like elves very much. You an elf. Wonderful. Double shies. A thousand times double shies. Thought you might have some dialogue. Oh, love the cloak, shitty individual. <laughs> Even for I just saw the character name for that's an interesting cloak. Want one. Nothing doing. Another shitty individual. Have a word with the merchant. Hello, fellow. Well met. Guess not. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Not in a selling mood, it seems. <laughs> I'm knackered. That's a nice son. Mutant. Where? Why? Then he can get his wife out the dungeon. Hmm. That's so pretty. I'd say so. Keep his hands off himself. 
Come again. Let's talk to the strumpet. Not for all the gold in Novigrad. Nothing doing. Sammy reeks around here. Haven't you seen the two swords? Begging for a screenshot. So, what well, we've got some merchant docks here. I just realised it tells you the time, but it doesn't tell you the day of the week. Is it a Wednesday or a Friday? Huge difference on what Triss is up to on that evening. Deals this side of the Ponta. Hello, fella. Well met. King of beggars, henchman. Oh, uh, look like we've got a couple of crime bosses in town. Let's put a marker down for Tris. What we got here? Of oh, sword and dumplings. Come back to that one. Stash. Skellige, Skellige, Skellige. Notice board. Right, we'll make a marker for the notice board and head to the right there. Cat school gear. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. If I was a suspicious man, I would say that red, blood red sky was an ill omen. Got an itch need scratching? Yeah, it's called Roach. <sighs> I need a rest. The threatening stride, the gaze oh so fierce. Mock a witcher just once and your gut he goes. Oh, fuck, I'm right now. The king of men. It's stunning the way it loves. Uh, way it loves. The way it looks. I'm in love with the way it looks. Notice board. Eternal fire priest. I hate these guys. Nah, this is the trough, and you, the bigger drunk. I insist. Let's have a quick look. Do not fundle the merchandise. Fundle goods must be purchased by the fundler. The city council of the free city of Novigrad. Okay. Portrait artist wanted. I am in need of a portrait art uh, artist to paint a likeness of my beloved daughter. This portrait is needed in order to finalize the betrothed contract in which she is to enter with a young man from Kovia. Note that the canvas should be ornamented without an extravagant emphasis on realism. Concentrating instead on bringing out my darling's characteristic, Martin at heart. Quick coin in a pinch. Need coin fast? Those blasted non human that the Vivaldi Bank says your credit's no good? Come see me. No paperwork required. No questions asked. No limit. Loans available in Harklandian francs. Hanjuka. Annual interest rate 700. A word from the Armourers Guild. The Armourers Guild would like to remind you of the following. No one shall forge, nor sell armour, nor helmets in Novigrad unless he has first joined our ranks and proven his credentials as a master. So basically they've made a law of you have to pay us. <laughs> nice money if you can get it. Members of the guild must pay 200 out of every 100 crowns earned to the communal fund. So join us or die. Any member who knowingly takes on another member's apprentice shall pay half of his earned profits to the guild. Any member caught selling iron helmets and breastplates claiming they are steel shall be stricken from the guild registry. Any member who brings a weapon to the guild meeting shall be pay, shall pay a day's earning to the communal fund by way of punishment. Contract issued by the Temple Guard of the City of Novigrad. Fellow followers of the flame. In recent days, several officers of the temple have been ravaged to death. 
in a most bestial manner. An investigation has been launched to look into the matter, so the perpetrator shall soon feel the iron grip of justice closing around his throat. Anyone able to help the guardsmen track down and punish this murderer, or murderers, as the case may be, is asked to report to the nearest guard post at once. A reward is foreseen. It is unlikely hereby. It is likewise hereby announced that any man aiding or abetting these bandits or withholding evidence regarding these crimes shall be punished by torture, imprisonment, or even death. Sergeant Gilbert, how do you pronounce that? Witchka? Gwent. Vimy Vivaldi cheats. To all Gwent players, a drunken banker, Vimy Vivaldi, is a villain and a cheat. Using typical non human trickery, he conned his way to victory over me, then forthwith demanded I surrender my cards without the slightest consolation or giving me a chance for a rematch. Anyone tempted to play with him, resist or regret a well wisher. Hmm. No. I cannot save my game right now. Let's read this. Okay, yeah, I got that one. Um, what's broken? I'm just skimming here. Right, okay. Deadly Delights Vampires Any money Vampires Gwent Big City Players Talk to the guard It's on the way ah. Griffin School Gear Ill Moon, another shady individual. Merchant. Welcome, welcome. We meet again. What have you got there? Let's have a quick pop into my alchemy. Oh, it won't let me. Don't know what I really need there then. So long. Oh, it's done it again, was it? Not let me get into my alchemy. <coughs> uh, what am I missing? Moon dust. I really, really want that. Lesser red mutagen. Oh yeah, I can make greater red mutagen, but not lesser. In fact, none of them are called lesser. What's going on there? Increases critical hit damage. Ah, uh, right, okay, I need to defeat a fork tail. That's not going to happen anytime soon. Mmm, bear fat. In your eyes. Okay. Let's see if this merchant's got any of that. Welcome, welcome. What have you got there? Mm. That wasn't what, what I wanted, was it? Enhanced hybrid oil. I'll buy some anyway. Two 
two of each. Farewell. So long. not important. I'll come back to it later. I love the look of the place. It's amazing. The house is lopsided, falling over practically. Novigrad guard. I'm wearing a very ridiculous hat. Hear about the job. I'm here about the contract. Oh, well, a night patrol got massacred. Tough men, the lot, armed to the teeth. A beast must be. Must? What makes you say that? If you've seen the corpses. The corpses, tell me more. What did the corpses look like? I've not seen anything like it in my life, and I've seen a lot of corpses. Ever heard talk of folk who died in the deserts of Zeracania from the heat alone? These corpses came straight out of those tales. Where are the bodies? Bodies buried yet? Where? Orders were to burn them. Our medic was to take a look first. Talk to him. He's at the docks now. See what I can do. We'll pay you. The boys and me, we pulled what we had for a reward. Never got a chance to talk about my pay. Hmm? Okay. Hmm. Let's go speak to Tris first. She knows she's right there. They still in our work, those Tamarians. No, she could be on the other side of this building. to go down the level it seems no oh terrible times my wife won't believe me when i tell her Nope, not through here. I've got a little red arrow pointing up, so I need to go up a level, it seems. Well, I'm on the right My level now, but the wrong side of the building. I tell her. You don't live in the most easily accessible place, Triss. It's almost like you don't want to be found. <coughs> Check that map. Can't zoom in anymore. I wonder if I should go around that way. Oh, terrible times. My way to the sun's dinner. Hey, to leave this city, sir. What's he doing here? Our Novigrad! Oh, hello. Shining a brilliant pearl among cities! Great.
No evil can survive the holy fire. The holy fire enlightens, burns, and cleanses. Behold the flame of grace and mercy. Special pyre for you, freak. Nice, slow burning. You'll beg for mercy in all the voices known to you, like the others of your species. I've done no wrong. None. I wanted only to live like you. Help me, kind folk. Please! <coughs> God, look! A Doppler! Sure hope Dudu hasn't met the same fate. Burnt Why the stench is entirely You just automatically walk in there. Fire. Oh, they burn so beautifully. Grand spectacle. I could watch one in. Don't, it's everywhere. I, I, I see it all around. Scandalous. Letting such miscreants into the city. Let's see if we can find those character updates. Felicia Coy. Geralt has been in a situation where he could not prevent someone's death on more than one occasion. In fact, you might say he has grown accustomed to that particular form of agony. In it is another thing altogether however to stand powerless and watch the unjust cruel execution of an acquaintance for whom one has developed a fondness such was his law as regard to felicia corey a young sorceress whom Geralt has met while chasing the kingslayer letho though Geralt had not gotten to know her deeply he had nevertheless nonetheless taken a liking to this former pupil of philippa urquhart who had seemed to to him a pleasant and enterprising young woman yet she was a wielder of magic and as such met her end on a pyre felicia corey was she the girl that philippa was sleeping with i can't remember can't remember i think so chapel Garal and I had long known the chapel, Chancellor of Security for the Church of the Eternal Fire in Novigrad, had died years ago and had been replaced by a Dopp I just read, finished reading the story regarding this not so long ago. Replaced by a Doppler masquerading underneath his name. He didn't breathe a word of this to anyone, of course, for the change was decidingly in everyone's best interest. A Doppler had proven a reasonable creature deprived of the true chapel's cruelty and under his watch life and city had been much improved. Yeah, chapel basically could have had go out slaughtered uh for reasons and uh let him go and it was because the real evil cruel chapel had you know died and this doppler had taken his place sadly the chancellor's uh conciliatory style must have raised suspicion that the reign of wave of terror and persecution began to swell over novigrad the doppler was found out arrested and burnt at the stake to the greater glory for the greater glory of the eternal fire Caleb Menge. In those days, rampant persecution and the smoke of a hundred pies choked Novigrad's air. This grim climate provided cover for, for in which a great many bloody butchers built comfortable nests for themselves, drummed up conspiracies, mass arrests, and show trials resulting in group executions were the favourite building blocks. Caleb Menge, the fanatical and ambitious commander of the Church of the Eternal Fire Temple Guard, was one such opportunist. His moment of triumph came uh, up of time coming when he unmasked his superior, the former Temple Guard Commander Chapel, as a Doppler in disguise. Go out first saw Menge lighting Chapel's pyre in Novigrad, Main Square, and had no doubt that for this man, the appellation Fascist Horson was too mild by far. Some people are just bloodthirsty psychos and like to what people burn. B, the 
more I drink, the clearer I think. Oof. Boys. Boys everywhere. Sorceress. It's like a witch with muscle. Cast the spell and all's gone in a flash. Well, she was in a rush. Must have left something. And what of it? This place has been picked through. Hey! Sud off! We're looting here! Let's talk. Not here for the loot. Interested in the sorceress who lived here. And we're supposed to believe that. Yeah. Most likely hiding in some rat trap with the rest of them. Why is she hiding? Who's she hiding from? Temple guards cracking <clears throat> down. All mages are fair game. Yeah, they round them up like rats. Who might know where she is? Someone's got to know more. I'd look for her in a putrid grove. Lovely name. Putrid Grove. Interesting, as names go. A hive of scum and freakery if there ever was one. No decent folk show their hides there. That why you think I should look for my friend there? Oh, I meant no offense. Where is this grove? Putrid Grove. Where is it? I wouldn't know. Rumor has it, it's a place for freaks and oddities. You'd fit in well there. Maybe. Thing is, gotta know how to get there. They say you gotta get there through the sewers, but you gotta enter them outside of town. Few know where exactly, though. Ask a beggar. Or spot yourself a thief. Follow him. Beggars and thieves gotta Shady pay tribute characters. to the king of beggars. Word is, they do it in the grove. Mean to say the local beggars have a king? Crown, scepter, and all that? Wooden scoff, mate. King of beggars, it's a moniker. Yeah, for a man who everyone in Novigrad respects deeply. And watch yourself. Menger himself don't even go to the grove. Mengel, to pronounce that with, with an L? Someone call for me. Wonder why. Miss Menger. Temple Menger. God. Thieving vermin to the confession chamber. What, but sir, what's the offence? This is some sorceress bitty shop. Think that gives you the right to steal her property? Well, sorcerers, majors of all types, are outlaws. But by law, the temple guard takes possession of their belongings. And the rule of law still holds in Novigrad. You know a bat can sniff out a moth a mile away. It's all about hearing, not the sense of smell. Got nothing to do with their sense of smell. It's about their hearing. Well, well. Man knows his bats. Here I thought you only cared about monsters. And as bats sense moths, so I sense freaks. And start by warning them. Novigrad's no place for your kind. Who's it for then? Heard Novigrad was no place for mages. Now you're telling me it's no place for witchers. So who's it a place for? Righteous folk professing the one true faith in the eternal fire. Nothing I can do to you now. But just know that I know you're here. One misstep, one error. You'll make a mistake, it's inevitable. I'll be the first to learn of it. And when I do, it'll be standard procedure. Like for every magic oddity who dares taint this city's air. Be seeing you. Quest updated, Pyres of Novigrad. Character entry updated, Triss Merigold. And okay, Civi Trail took Geralt to Novigrad, the largest city in the north. It would take a Sea of Ink. Okay, that's not new. Talk with the beggars about the King of Beggars. Look for thieves on the main square and carefully follow them. 
Okay, a couple of options there. Tress, tress, tress. Okay, Yennefer told Garalt that Triss had recently taken up residence in the free city of Novigrad. Free, indeed. It seemed Triss has gone into hiding from the so-called witch hunters persecuting magic wielders in the city, turned into one of the leaders of the local underworld for protection. Time is it? We've still got time. Dwarven Blade Conjuration of Spheres Let's read that Scholars have many vices Possibly the worst among them is the tendency to describe the simple in unnecessarily complex terms To dress the plane in the garb of false learning the conjuration of spheres might serve as an excellent example of this. This name, so mysterious to a commoner's ear, could be replaced with a much simpler alternative. When the worlds collide, the phenomenon itself can also be explained in terms simple enough for a child to understand. Imagine, dear reader, that our world is a ship sailing on a great sea. From its deck we can see other distant vessels, those are the stars. These vessels each bear their own goods and their own crew. They usually pass us at some distance, barely visible speck, even viewed through a spyglass. Once every few thousand years, however, a storm breaks above this cosmic sea. A storm so, so strong, it tosses the ships towards one another, making them sail cheek by jowl. Part of the crew of one ship can at such times move to another, and some of the cargo from one ship can spill onto a neighbouring vessel. When the weather calms, the ships separate once again and sail their separate, invariably different ways. The so-called post-conjunction beings, namely monsters such as ghouls and basilisks, are precisely such passengers from another vessel, and we humans are castaways flung against our will from somewhere far away onto a world previously inhabited by the elder races. That's interesting. Once here, we learn the arcane mysteries of magic, unbeknownst to us before. Could the worlds collide once more, perhaps? Can this cataclysm be avoided, or the opposite, hastens? Some scholars believe that there are beings who have mastered this skill, who possess a rare gene, allowing, allow which some to seize the helm of our vessel and steer us to save for wardens or to our doom. So, but this is the part that interesting, uh, interests me. And we humans are castaways, flung against our will from somewhere f far away onto a world previously inhabited by the older races. So this world is not the original world of the humans, it suggests. We came from a different ship, a different star. And during one of these posts, one of these conjunctions of spheres, our, us, our cargo, fell onto their ship. That's interesting. Come on, Jess. Give me a clue. Herbs? Roots? Just turned to healing? Imperial Majesty Erm Vam Imrith. Haven't we read that one already? Have a quick scan. So, Emir aims to make the entire north a vassal of Nilfgaard. Remains unchanged. Yeah, he's basically, he's after everything. Oh, well, according to that book, your hairbrush. Hair Only ever known Triss to use one like this. That's going to burn that book. Set the place on fire. We don't want that. 
my evening with a vampire. Oh. Beast V entry added. You will no doubt call me a liar, a cheat and a madman. You will share, shake your head in pity and snort in disbelief. But I promise you, I swear on all the gods, everything which you shall read in these pages to follow is the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. I met the vampire of which I write years ago. In an inn in Berkeley, he introduced himself to me as Regus. I know that name. And he said he was a barber and a medic. Since he looked in every aspect like a mortal man, I might never have even suspected his true nature. Had, had not a fire broke out shortly thereafter in the establishment in which he, we were residing. This Regis, if that truly was his name, stood completely untouched by the flames, which is odd for a vampire. You would think they would go up like tissue paper, but not for this gentleman. He's actually immune to, vam uh, to fire. Whereas my own clothes quickly caught fire, the vampire carried me out of the burning inn, saving my life from certain death, then treated my numerous wounds. At first, Vegas refused to answer my, my queries as to how he had miraculously survived the furnace-like temperatures inside the burning inn without so much as a scratch on his body or a hair singed by the, on his head. Eventually, however, he must have sensed I was a man of the world, one who would not jump so hist to hasty judgments based on appearance or species, and reveals his identity along with a great number of highly interesting facts. According to Regis, not all vampires are alike. This vast family contains both mindless catacans, fledders, and imaraths, who in form resemble overgrown bats far more than humans, as well as alps and brooks, bruxy, who look remarkably like comely maids. In addition to these, there are even more powerful higher vampires to which Genus belonged my unexpected acquaintance. Uh, not even a witcher can discern a higher vampire from a mortal man. Contrary, contrary to popular beliefs, they cannot be killed by pounding ashen aspen stakes into their chest, nor by cutting off their heads. Tricky then. Nor, as I can vouch for based on personal experience, by fire. They do not fear running water, garlic, or the symbols of any creed. It might be some consolation to learn a vampire, a vampire bite does not turn a human into one of their numbers. They do not in any way need our blood in order to survive. To them, it is merely a delicacy in which they indulge from time to time, like men do with fine wine. Regus asked me to keep his tale to, my, to myself, but here, but here I have published it in the book and, sent, and sold it to millions. But now, as I lay on my deathbed, I feel that I must share this secret knowledge, even if it means breaking my word to this most noble individual. My higher vampires. Plague maidens. Spectre oil yarden. Vulnerable against vampire oils and fire, even though we just read that they're immune to fire. Men, the polite ones at least, would call me a monster, a blood-drinking freak. Emil Regis, higher vampire. Only a mutual thirst for blood links higher vampires to their distance and much more primitive cousins. Imcameras, Alps, Catacans and the like, higher vampires are in fact much more similar to humans than those bat-like blood slurpers. They not only resemble us in appearance, but they also share our intelligence and behavioural patterns. This means they do not squat in distant forests or hide in the shadows. On the contrary, they are particularly fond of cities where they live out deceivingly normal lives. Even witches are not capable of recognising them at once, for their medallions remain perfectly motionless in the presence of higher vampires. Yet all these similarities should not blind us to an essential difference. Unlike men, higher vampires are immortal. Those who have been, f those who have faced them in combat and survived, can be counted on one hand. It is a witch's good fortune that higher vampires are extremely rare, and not all of them dangerous to humans. Though they do have a taste for blood, they do not need to drink it to survive. Some higher vampires have renounced feeding on humans altogether and do not harm, and do no harm to anyone. But others give in to their desires. A witcher, whose brave who braves fighting a high vampire must bear in mind that he faces a monster endowed with incredible strength, one able to manipulate men and animals, turn invisible, and transform into a giant bat. 
and furthermore one which is nearly impossible to kill in other words even an experienced monster slayer should think twice before accepting the contract on one of these creatures even if half a kingdom and a princess hand is in princess's hand is in the offering Yeah. Tough indeed. Normally the go to uh technique is a beheading, burning them by fire and sticking a stick through their heart. Let's read this. What's this? Brother Alderbert's beastery. Each beast herein described in two manners uh, ye be hunted. Either seek ye tracks, follow and strike the foulness wherever uh, it is wild ye find it, or lure it to a chosen place and engage it there in advantageous battle. The latter poses less risk, for the hunter exposes no chance for unexpected fight. Note, however, that to lure a beast into a trap, first its taste and behaviours must ye must know. As for fork tails, bit them thusly, pound a stake into the soil, Bind it to a go, then hide ye into near to shrubbery post haste. The beast, lured by the caprine odour, will fall foul soon come. Okay, blah 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 blah, turn into a drowner, blah blah blah. Amulets are emanating magic. Gotta be Triss's. She was allergic to potions. That's a bit rubbish. Witcher signs. I don't think there's going to be th anything new here. I was just trying to identify that painting. Dumpling. Lots of dried fruit, Tris. Not quite the devil you thought. Anything else? Rose of Remembrance. The Rose of Remembrance. All dried up. More on the Witcher signs. Has a big place Trisses. all to herself. Never knew how to drop him on the floor. Yeah, that's a original outfit. So we need to find out which crime boss she's uh, seeking protection from. Time with it. Let's just check the map. Get a, get a sense of direction first. I guess we just have to find shady characters. Or speak to beggars. See them in the main square. Carefully follow them. Talk to beggars. I think that's what we'll do at the start of next episode. I hope you have enjoyed this one. If you have, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and join me for next adventure where we go sneak sneaking after the sneaky and the shitty individuals or speaking to beggars. So until then, take care of yourself and goodbye for now. Bye bye.